Hi, this is Eric Horton with Working Geek. I'm here with Sophie Gravel from Next Move Games, Hello. Plan B Games, Pretzel Games. Yes, a few brands. Many imprints. First, congratulations. Thank you. Winning as store for Azul last night. Thank you. Uh, very well deserved. Thank you. We're I, very honored. I just mostly think about the other nominees, Dice Forge, Flamme Rouge, and Twinit, yes. and I played each of the other ones once, uh -huh. and I played Azul, I forget now, 15, 16 <laughs> times. I, I, I had a game day the other day where I should have been playing other things that I need to preview, and it said we had new people coming, and I'm like, I have to play Azul. So oh, that's really it is cool. that type of yes. infectious yes. behavior. So. It has a bit of a viral thing to it. Yes, yeah. that's true. And it's so accessible and so easy to play and teach to people who just simply don't play games also. That's right. So it's a great introduction. And you show the box and you show other things and I like it just looks great. And so now Azul is moving to the Next Move Games line, yep. originally published in under Plan B Games, and now Reef by Emerson Matsuuchi is going to be the next game for yes. the next move, about two to four players. Yes, 30 these minutes, are, more or less. These are non-final pieces, these yes. are the final colors of the bits, but they're not final pieces, they're going to be shaped, so they will be colorblind friendly, Maybe we and can you can see them. the nature here. You can see them in the room. Maybe. That's right, we can just... Or we can just you want to show? You want to zoom down here? Yeah, you can see here that the plate, each piece is as an individual shape, and they all stack one on top of each other. All right, they have so indentation and a knob yes. up top. To, they're as made you build to build your reef. Yeah, they're made. They're coral pieces yes. that you stack to build your reef. Okay. But unfortunately, today uh, we had no more uh, molded coral pieces, so we have to use these uh, blocks. They feel exactly the same, just so you know, because yes. it's using the same material that uh, we use the pieces, and they're the right colors, so... Okay. Uh, now this... Uh, yeah, so you want to take it away? Sure. Yeah, as so, as uh, Mar uh, Eric said, uh, Reef is a game by uh, the designer of Century, so it's uh, Emerson Matsushi, and it has the same... Uh, we're in France here, so I can say it, the, the <laughs> same je ne sais quoi, uh, which yeah. is you feel the Emerson touch when you play this game, it's a very simple game, uh, very simple rule, it holds on two pages, um, but once you start playing it, you discover the, the depth and the tactical aspects of it very quickly, and you'll see. You, I think you okay. immediately feel the, the little tension that's created. So very simply, we each have um, a reef, a reef base, uh, which is a 4x4 four four, uh, square plate. Uh, we have some, they're coral points, so they're in the final game they represent pieces of coral mm -hmm. and their points. And we each start with three points at the beginning of the game. And we have a deck of cards. At the beginning we deal out two to each player that you hold in your hand. And we, shall I put them this way? Yeah, I'll do this it's The way. other way, okay. Yeah, yeah, right. mm -hmm. We have a stack of uh, a line of three cards available and a stack pile, stock pile, which is also face up. So, on your turn, you can do one of two things only. Either you can draw a card and add it to your hand to a maximum of four, four cards in hand, okay. or you can play a card. So, let's say I want to draw a card to add a card to my hand. I can pick any of these ones, add it to my hand, and replenish. If you, on your turn, you also want a card, but I you decide, want this. you would like this one? Yes. Okay, do that, then I can um, teach the next move. Okay. We replenish. I have only three cards in my hand, I can still, I could still take one. If I wanted, I, let's say the three ones here, they not exactly fitting my strategy, I prefer this one. I take a coin, and I have to place it on the least, the card that has the least value. So in this case, I have two ones. I choose to put a coin on the one I want to leave behind, and then I can take this one from the top and add okay. it to my hand. Okay? okay? Whoever takes this card in the next also grabs the point. Okay. So, it's my turn. I don't want to pick another card. I want to play one. So to play a card, a card has two information uh, area. The top part of the card says which pieces you are going to draw from the stock and place on your board. 
Uh, we, I'm sorry we started something. There's something I didn't say at the beginning of the we game. You need to start with one each? Yes. No, you start with one, two, one reef piece of every color at the center of your board. Yeah. Randomly. I'm sorry I omitted to say that. Yeah. So you place your card. It says take two orange. I take two orange and I can place them anywhere I want on my reef. On top of each other, on top of other colors, here on empty spots, it's really as I want. But I'm trying to score points in this game, so I'll try to put it in, in places where it's going to help me score some points at a later moment. So in my case, which you are not seeing, I will place my cards, my, my cubes here. The bottom part of the card says what scores. So if on my uh, reef I had this combination which means a green and a yellow side by side in whichever orientation side, orientation want. doesn't matter yes. I would score three points so had I had this for example I would score three points I didn't so I played this card put the cards and scored zero and now it's your turn okay play this get two yellow yes here, here. Okay. Uh, orange next to green. I should not yes, do it that way. Yes, not green. No, don't fight it. Yes, so this card says f uh, you take the highest green that's mm -hmm. touching orange on your board and you score two points for every orthogonal cube. So right. you would get a two point. There we go. My turn? Yes. I will take this card. Uh, there's one thing I did not say, mm -hmm. is if you have this, and this is what makes it really interesting, if you manage to have the combination several times, you score several times. So if I had that three times on my board, I would score nine points. Yes. So the idea, the cool thing is that you have to build a hand, which will allow you to play a card, put some cues, but score at the same time. So you have to organize it in a sequence. Which and is that's what I'm, what's interesting. I'm looking for a yellow, but there's no yellow up here. So I just have to be satisfied uh, doing this. Yes, and score and four, four points. Four points. Well, score four points at the beginning of the game is not that bad, yes, you know? But if I took two more yellow, I could yeah, score next more. Time. Greedy, greedy so people. So my two orange. I put them here and currently score nothing. This means I will need to have two yellow high. Now, two yellow high means, for example, this is two yellow high. It's what you see from the top that counts. Right. It doesn't mean that they have to be all yellows in the tower. Okay. Okay? Okay. Your turn. Okay. Take this. Mm -hmm. I will take this for two green. And now for this card, I will score 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. Now you see how it works. That's right. And then we continue playing yes. until... Until one point. of the stockpile ends. Okay, and we and didn't have out all the pieces either. There's more pieces no, in the box. No, at four so. players you need 28 pieces, at three players it's 25, and then it's reduced until two players. Game ends when one of the pile is empty, we finish to the next player. You also score the cards you have in your hand that would be possible. So for example, in this card I would have one point, I would score all of that and the player with the most point wins. Okay. And we, we very oh, simple. I mentioned we played once before. Yes. And what was interesting is um, uh, Lincoln and I were hearing the description and we both understood the rule differently. Yeah. So we both understood like many games, when you're presented with two things on a card, it's yes. either one or the other. No. And Lincoln even said, he's like, oh, well, you get, you know, it's those choices of, am I going to play it for this or this? No. But no, it is actually a different choice because using both is like super powering everything and you want to do everything in the right order. And you're like imagining this stack of things that I could play and this would be great, but I want to do something here first and this first and this first and things chain off of each other. Yes. Yeah. And the, the difficulty is you need the pieces from the top to, to play something else, for example, to score this one later on. But if you use it now, this will score nothing as you have only one. So yes. it's this choice. 
all the time. Yeah, and initially, so it starts slow, but as you get more pieces oh, yes. on the board, yes. then yes. you're just seeing the possibilities all over. Yes, and then you start scoring minutes. six and eight and ten and fourteen every round, and it's uh, it's, it's very interesting. And also, you can change the whole cons, the whole arrangement of your board in just two pieces. For example, now I have to just completely change what you see from the top yeah. with just two cubes. And of course, you rearrange that to fit the maximum you, know, you can score. So, a very simple in the room, very simple game, but uh, very tactical. Okay, and debuting June. Yes, in the Origins. June 2018. Where uh, Emerson will be there with us to launch the game. Okay, excellent. Thanks very much for the overview. You're very welcome. Thank you and, for having uh, me. Yeah, I love you. We'll see what comes next. Yes.